Hi, I'm Hanako. I'm good at math. And my favorite food is pizza. Why don't you take a math class with us today? Hello, I'm Taro. My favorite subject is math. And I'm good at skateboarding. I'm solving a math problem with Hanako. We are studying math every day with this member. In class now, I am studying probability. Are you guys ready? Let's start. Today we will solve the problem of probability in Ghost Leg. The general rule for playing this game is following. 1. Choose a line on the top, and follow this line downwards. 2. When a horizontal line is encountered, follow it to get to another vertical line and continue downwards. 3. Repeat this procedure until reaching the end of the vertical line. Finally, the player is given the thing written at the bottom of the line. Today, we will play the game according to the following rules. 1. Choose a line on the top, and follow this line downwards. 2. When you reach the horizontal line, throw a coin. If the coin is on the front, move down. If the coin is on the back, move sideways and then move down. 3. There is an apple in the lower right. There are two vertical lines A and B and two horizontal lines. What is the probability of getting an apple when starting from line A? If the coin is on the front, the probability in this case is half. So I can solve it this way. Is there anyone who can explain the problem? Hanako. The probability of moving one is half times half equals one quarter. The probability of moving two is one quarter, two. Therefore, the probability is one quarter plus one quarter equals half. That's the correct answer. Actually, even if you start from B, the probability of getting an apple is one half. Let's solve the next problem. Let's consider the case of three vertical lines A, B, and C. What is the probability of getting an apple when starting from A? Even if the number of vertical lines increases, the idea is the same as before. I'm going to consider all patterns. Is there anyone who can solve this problem? Taro. The probability of moving 1 is half times half times half equals 1 eighth. The probability of moving 2 is 1 eighth, 2. The probability of moving 3 is half times half times half times half equals 1 sixteenth. Therefore, the probability is 1 eighth plus 1 eighth plus 1 sixteenth equals 5 sixteenths. Good job! This time, if I choose line A, the probability is 5 sixteenths. When I also calculate the probabilities of B, the probability of line B is also 5 sixteenths. But if I choose the C line, the probability is 6 sixteenths. C has the highest probability. In the case of three vertical lines, no matter how I draw the horizontal lines, it seems that the three probabilities will never be the same. That's it? I want to study that the probabilities in Ghost Leg are not equal. This is the end of today's class. It's lunch, so let's eat pizza. It's nice. Tasty. Wow. It's yummy. Delicious. There are many ways to solve the problem of probability. This time I can draw a lot of horizontal lines. Since I can draw horizontal lines freely, it may be suitable for recurrence formulas. Or maybe mathematical induction is better. If I can't solve it after a week, it might be a good idea to think with Taro. But when I can't solve anything, I do something other than math for a while. When I'm talking to everyone like this, I sometimes get an inspiration. It's the end time of episode 1. 
Thank you for thinking about math with us today. Pleasure to meet you. Bye-bye.